This is everything for but welcome to a post-match reaction for Spain versus Germany. The game was one of the most beautiful games. This, this is where you see the lives of this English referee. Why is why, why are they always calling this English ref to side games? Like you can see what Mike only about this, only about this. He twisted the game, the Denmark game. He twisted everything. Even the Denmark game, you can see what, what Oliver Twist did there. He scattered the whole game, bro. Like he spoiled the whole game. Today, Cruz would Cruz would have gotten a red card in this game. I'm not against it. So many things would have not happened. So many yellow cards, like so many nonsense that would have not happened in this game. When I look at the penalty, his hand was like this, like his hand was outside. The ref said, like, they did not even say anything that it was fast. They did not even say anything. We are did not even do anything. Like, but it's clear that. Because of um, there was actually a highlight. We saw it that it was a handball. That was the penalty for crying out loud. I saw people saying that Spain was the best to, to win the game. Like Spain deserved the winning. I'm like, how? Is it not 11 11? Yeah. Did anybody have the red card? But both teams had six shots on target. Spain had 18 attempts. Germany had 23 attempts. Expected goals. Spain had about 1 point something. Germany had 2.05 expected goals. So tell me, how do you say they deserve the winning? So Germany, this winning now, does not deserve it. I believe this penalty, they don't deserve it. We all know that the reason why Spain had more possession during the extra time was because of Germany has removed their midfielder. They have brought in attackers because they want to win the game. So you don't expect them to hold possession now. If you notice, Germany was all about counter attacks and they had the chance but they could not score. If you notice, all the ball was coming to Fulcrum. Exactly a player, a player that would have played that game. Exactly. I said it before. Sack, sack that guy. Sack that guy. That, that is a target man. That is a target Simple. man. If you notice, the early minute of the game, Germany had so many attempts. Kahava rubbish. The rest of the are rubbish. Like, Musella is good. He regulates the midfield. You understand? But when it comes to because He's not that physical, so they, 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 they always bully him whenever I get to the team. But, but if it's the midfield, see, see Sunny, people. see Sunny, bro, that we're thinking that okay, Sunny on the other side will like be threat on the way. The, then Musala be doing his thing on the other side. Sunny was just with Sunny was waste. Musala played, Musala played both of his life today. Musala played everything. Only Musala could have many yellow cards. I was expecting this penalty. Like, what is going on? Okay, that let's see, bro. See, bro, see bro, let me tell you something. The thing that pained me the most is that they don't even check it. See, check that thing. See, that ball, if that ball was not blocked, that ball could have been clear goal. It was going directly to the post. It was not a loose ball. I think it was a loose ball now. So, okay, the ball, it was a loose ball. But this ball was going directly to the post. If not for they, anything, because of that, check it. Check. Just check to confirm that, okay, it's not goal. You understand the game me? is 50 50. This game is a 50 50 game. Nobody played better. But maybe Spain hold had more possession in, in the extra time. The yes, they had because even Jeremy, Jeremy had more possession with them, both in the first half and in the second half. The problem yes. was that, you know, I told you about this game. This game is about who is more clinical enough. The both sides, they were not clinical enough. But the side that showed the most was Jeremy. Jeremy was not clinical enough at all at all. Because they had many chances. Spain had chances, many but Spain chances. chances were not really that clear. But you see Jeremy, but Carvat on the other side, failed to convert them. And they got punished. I told you before that, if you don't convert your chances, you get punished ASAP. And that was what happened today. It was so bad that Jeremy could not win this. You get covered like, covered what, what, oh, like, to do of all but this. I want to know, why is it that any bad officiating in this particular tournament, it must be an English ref. See what you are suffering in the Premier League. This, this is exactly what you are suffering in the Premier League. Bro, I have the footage. Someone was telling me that that was offside. How? Why did you check it? Why did you check it? Why did you check go it? Off? Check it and so confirm that it's offside. Line. Let's know how it became offside. This is how it happened in Real Madrid. Exactly. Then you, you are not apologizing. You, to you are apologizing later. After you have. After things you also do, you are not apologizing later. That sorry. But the deed has already been done. The goal has already been cancelled. So why are you still apologizing? If it has been done, why are you still apologizing? That was the problem. I don't know. They can't continue so yeah, doing this. See Birmingham now. It's the same sign. The same sign that Birmingham did. It's the same sign that the Turkish player did. But the Birmingham. Player two, two, two games banned. They gave Birmingham tax that to pay. It was later. They're not that see that people are complaining. They're not giving Birmingham one match ban. Imagine the nonsense. It's as if they're throwing the English people too much. They're not, they're not this nonsense. So it was it, it was an England thing. This they just were good to have been the penalty. They will not be argued. The best competition I've watched so far is the AFCON. If you notice the way the, the AFCON ref officiated, that was the game that I saw that they scored and they brought them back and said, Come, there was a penalty that happened before that your goal. And they checked it. They first checked it first to confirm that, okay, is, was this was this a penalty or not? And they confirmed they did the actual check and saw that it was a penalty. And what did they do? They gave it. That was even Ferdinand said it that English ref or European ref, they need to come and learn from this AFCON. Because see, you see this you what is happening in Europe, eh? It's not it at all. 
it's not it. I see. I didn't expect this from the European ref. I don't expect this. They were supposed to be the ones to be leading by examples, like showing, showing the Africans or showing the people, other people that oh, this has been done. It's done this way because they call them that the uh, European football is like the, the the giants, the best best football. I don't know if you get. They were supposed to set a standard, but now their standard is becoming low. They are both their rev, their VR, all of them. So you want to tell me that okay, the rev did not see. You as a VRO, you cannot check that and so okay, this was a penalty or this was not a penalty. I'm calling you that oh rev, come and check this thing. Oh, you left it, you didn't even check it. That was poor. I blame Nagisma for everything that happened. You already had a, a compact meeting that you have been using from the beginning of the competition. But today of all days, you to tell to you American, today of all days. Now, American entered American entered the game. Now, what did he do? He was too many loose balls. He almost cost a goal. Now you not you not knew that oh yeah I made a mistake or you not took him off. Okay now why did you not take off Kai Havert and bring him full chrome? Emerson and brought him full chrome. When he would have moved Kai Havert. So now you're sacrificing your misfit for the attacking Kai Havert was in the game. No hold the ball. It was see Kai was still in the game. That was annoying me the most. Kai was still in this game. Till the ending of the game, it was not extra than that. Ending in our left. That was how bad it was. He was still in the game. What is Kai Havert? Yes, I know you want goals, but what Kai Havert was not giving anything. He was not giving assists. He was not giving movement. He was not giving anything. See in that how game. deadly the full crumb was when he came in. See how deadly. Only his presence he was. caused commotion in the full defense. That's what number nine do. You don't make you don't make your centre back. It has happened. It has happened. So it has happened. There's nothing we can do. Gone. There's nothing we can do. At, at least for now, we know that almost of our three or four players from Spain are going to they are going to miss the next game. Let's yes, so the yellow card, the yellow card was plenty even before the game. They were already have like people already have yellow card before already had yellow card. Then entering the game, Musala packed them, pack them, pack them, pack them, give all of them. He shared them. Pick one, pick two, pick three, pick four. So if you want to give your man of the match for this game now, who do you give it to? Omo. Straight up, me to Omo. See, Omo's substitution was what changed the game. If you notice, when Tony Cruz got Pedri injured, do you know what I told my friend close to me? I told him, see, do you know that this person that he brought in is even better than the Pedri that is playing this game? He said, ah, you don't know. I say it's like you, you guys don't know Omo because he's in Leipzig, he's not in Baka or Madrid or all this thing. You don't know Omo. When he entered the game, he changed the full game, he changed the dynamics of the game. He, see, he was the one that controlled that midfield. He did it, he controlled the whole midfield. And what did he do? He got a goal. That's hard. And he was deadly on the counter because Germany was the one holding the possession 100%. So, what Spain was doing was countering. He was deadly. He had pace, he had the legs, he had skill. So, he was a threat. So, I was still giving my man of the man. If you've not still subscribed for the channel, kindly hit on the subscribe option. It's going to be on this part of your screen. Hit there so you become part of our young and growing YouTube community. Smash on the like button. Give this video a thumbs up. We're really going to like that. It will encourage us to produce more of this content for you. And also, leave us a comment. We're going to give you a kind response. Okay, and also stay tuned for our next update. And you're watching everything football.